This next step in our developmental sequence is going to go through higher level rotation and then progressing more towards quadruped, a crawling type position, and also more of what we call a bear position. So this takes our low crawling, low or excuse me, low rolling position to a higher uh, ready to go onto all fours movement. So this is typically going to be around the seven to twelve month um, developmental time frame. So I'll still start in my same position, which was that three month up my back. So all of the same initial characteristics continue, tension in my lower abdomen, legs, and arms. Now you're going to see that I'm going to go through the same movements pretty much that I did initially in the last video. So I'm going to start to rock, and my hand's going to come down, and I'm going to roll towards this side, just like I did previously with pressure in this arm. I'm going to turn my palm down and press into my elbow to come up. And then from here, I'm going to come up into this side sitting position. So this is where we're going to start a lot of the movements from. So the side sit, if it's too tiring, you do have the option of putting this foot on the ground. But if you're able to, you want to keep it up in the air. The key is that I don't want to do a lot with this leg. So if this leg's on the ground, some people have a tendency to push through it. A lot of the pushing for the transition to these other positions, I want it to come from my bottom knee. So you want to truly really make sure that this leg is doing most of the work. And this leg, if you can, stays up in the air. So starting off here, same thing. I want to keep that tension in my stomach. I want to make sure that I'm not starting to let my back open up into this arch position. Now from here, I'm going to start to just take this hand and just reach in this oblique up and over direction. As I do that, I kind of load some tension through this lower leg as I press that knee into the ground. And then I'll come back. And then I'll once again, same thing, pressure transitions to my bottom knee, pressing into the ground. As I reach, that pressure into this knee activates a little bit of tension in my hip. And then after I do maybe three to five reaches, I'm then going to transition into quadruped. So from here, I'm going to use the pressure in this knee as I reach to lift my hips up. And as I come across, this pressure through my knee and tension in my hip, I'm going to come over, this knee stepping forward as I bring this hand to the ground into quadruped. And you'll see that I even started to let my back dip a little bit and I quickly straighten that out by engaging my stomach and flattening out my spine. So you'll catch yourself as some of these movements starting to lose it and then regroup and come back to that good position. Same thing coming back. I'm going to lift this arm and I'm going to start to sit back onto this back leg. Okay? So slowly, pressure on my lower knee as I control the movement back to my hip. Now rather than going all the way back down to the floor, from here I'm just going to transition to a sitting position where I'm a little bit reclined so I keep that tension in my abdomen. And I'm going to do the same thing I did on the other side. So I'm going to do a lowering or bending of my bottom leg as I come across to my hand. This leg will come up into the air, my left leg, and I'll do that same reach. Pausing with each one, maybe doing that three to five times, putting pressure on my lower knee to engage my hip. And then I'll do the same as I reach, using my bottom leg to lift me up. And then come around slowly, bringing this knee forward into this quadruped position. And I'll do that same transition weight back onto my supporting right hand, using my bottom knee. I'll lift that top leg off the ground if I'm able to. If not, maybe I'll put it down just for a little bit of support. And that knee will control the descent of my hip to the ground. I'll come around back to this sit. And just to go through it one more time, lower knee bends. Top leg here. Sometimes with patients, I call this the senior picture pose. And then I'll come from here, pushing into this lower leg to, as I reach, lift my hips coming across the quadruped and then back. Okay? Now the other option that I'll have you then transition to, so we would do maybe three to five of these reaches and then we would go back and forth maybe five times transitioning into that quadruped and then we're going to go to bear position. So it's going to be very similar but now as I come across to that reach and I press, I'm going to come up actually onto my toes. So as I come up here this will step up onto my toe and that knee will lift up as I come to bear. And then transitioning back, I'll start to turn. This knee will drop to the ground. 
using this leg to slowly control my descent back onto my hip. I'll come back to that same sit position in a recline posture. Bottom knee will bend as I transition onto this hand. Sit, reach over and across. I'll use this knee to lift me up. And then instead of coming down onto my forward knee, I'll come up to my toe and transition to bear. Once again, coming back, this knee will come down to the ground. And once again, this hip will control my descent back down to the floor, coming back across, pausing in this recline sit, bottom knee bends, and I'll do my reach. As I reach, that helps to load this bottom knee, putting pressure and weight bearing through this leg as I use it to lift myself up. And as I come across, instead of going to knee, I'm going to toe to raise up to bear. And then once again, coming back down slow, I'll come bottom knee first, using that knee to control my transition. So you have three to five reaches each side. You have three to five of the using the bottom knee to progress to this quadruped. And then you have the same using the bottom knee to transfer up the bear. Okay.